Daddy Lanyong, hello guys, welcome back to the Daddy Cliff channel. Today, let's look at two scholarships that are currently open for application. That is the Chungang University Young Scientist Scholarship and the Brain Korea 21 Scholarship. These scholarships are currently open. Let's get into my computer and then let's look at the details on this scholarship but first before we get into that if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel why not begin by hitting that subscription button and make sure you turn on notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever there are new scholarship opportunities in south korea and also in other parts of the world like i did mention the first scholarship is the chungang university young scientist scholarship and this scholarship is going to waive your tuition fee for four semesters including the application fee which means you do not have to pay the application fee and they would equally make sure they pay you at least that is a minimum of 500,000 Korean won per month which means it can be more than 500,000 Korean won per month which means students might have the opportunity to negotiate the monthly stipend but make sure you don't indicate that money is what is of utmost important to you because what is of utmost important to you is you getting the scholarship to study they say the scholarship will be awarded within the budget range of the university therefore outstanding students will be the ones that will be selected by the graduate school committee and then these are the conditions for the chungan university young scientist scholarship it is important to know that you must be majoring in a natural science engineering pharmacy and medicine it is important for me to indicate that chungan university is an outstanding university as far as medicine is concerned and then you must be recommended by a full-time faculty member which means you must be recommended by a professor and then the next thing is that you must make sure you always maintain a gpa of 3.5 and then you must always get the approval signature of your academic advisor every semester simply put when you apply to get this scholarship while you're still back home in your home country there are certain documents that you would have to provide you would have to provide proof that you have had extensive research background for example you prove that you've published in journals like international journals you have to prove that you've written a thesis the more research work or activities that you've carried out during your studies the better for you so let's say you've published maybe 10 articles in 10 popular journals international journals that have outstanding international reputation they are in the top class of journals in the world you stand a better chance if you've carried out research if written thesis if you can provide proof that you've carried out research by submitting a copy of your thesis to your professor especially if the professor is in a research area that is linked to your research area you stand a better chance it is directly linked to the professor scholarship that i usually talk about in most of my videos where you have to contact the professor and then provide him with some information through emails like your thesis that you've written research publications that you've carried out and then most especially your graduate certificate and then your transcript indicating your gpa it's very important and then if you are in an area of research that is directly linked to the professor's area of research you stand a better chance of being accepted by the professor for you to go to korea and study in his lab basically you will be carrying out research activities so it is very important that you have a lot of research background when applying for this scholarship there is no joke about that that's why i usually tell people that if you do not have a lot of research background it's difficult for a professor to accept you in your lab because you will basically be carrying out research in their lab for you to maintain the scholarship it's important that you maintain a certain gpa at least 3.5 which means after every semester you must get a signature from your professor that you fulfilled every requirement for the previous semester before you can get into this next semester where they would have to pay your tuition fee and then pay your monthly stipend it's important it will cover four semesters for masters and then it will also cover your doctoral courses for the duration of your doctoral courses it's very important if the conditions are not fulfilled know that they will cancel your scholarship there is no joke about that here are the different requirements for masters you must make sure you've written articles and have published in international journals and for you to graduate you must equally make sure you have written a thesis for doctoral there are also conditions you must make sure you have written articles in collaboration with your professor 
and then you must also make sure you write a separate thesis before you graduate and then it's also important for you to take note of the notes that have been written at the side corner here is the steps on how to apply for the Chungang University Young Scientist Scholarship here. They say you have to find a Chungang University faculty member in the field of your research interest as candidate for your future academic advisor. So basically you're contacting a professor who is in the same area of research as you and then requesting them to be your supervisor. They would basically be working with you they'll carry out research activities with you you cannot be accepted without the recommendation letter from one of the university's professor or faculty members who is going to be your prospective supervisor it's very important you can contact them via emails to get a recommendation letter and make sure you also provide information about your academic background as much as possible the professor will be the one that will then send your recommendation letter to the international office directly so after contacting the professor and if the professor is ready to accept you then he will have to recommend you to the international office that's how it works the international office will then send you the chungang university young scientist application guide so if you've been recommended by the professor the international office will then send you the application guide for you to apply for the scholarship you will then have to send number five your application documents directly to the international office and make sure you send a recommendation letter that has been sealed by your previous university professor it's very important and then next is the b k21 scholarship that's the brain courier 21 scholarship what is this scholarship all about it is very important for me to indicate that the brain 21 korea scholarship is in many universities in south korea like korea university seoul national university chungang university and a host of other universities this is a big scholarship that i think i would start talking about it on the channel so if you really want to know about the brain Korea scholarship make sure you subscribe to the channel so the brain korea 21 scholarship or the bk 21 scholarship is for masters and phd and the monthly allowance for masters is 700,000 won, and the monthly allowance for phd is 1 million 300,000 korean won you can do the conversion online and then you will know the equivalent in your local currency what are the majors that are available for application for the brain korea 21 scholarship let's look at them so in the area of available departments and program if you go down and you find one asterisk it means these majors educational technology educational policy and educational administration all of the majors here are under the bk 21 scholarship so you have to look for an area that has one asterisk not two if you go this way you would find social welfare it has one asterisk but here you have two asterisk it's not supposed to have any asterisk here the asterisk is supposed to be here one so the two here means something else i'll talk about it if you go down again you would find these ones physics it has the different majors here chemistry it has an asterisk with the different majors. You have life science here with the different majors. They are all under the BK21 or the Brain Korea 21 scholarship. If you go down again, there is Global Innovative Drugs, one major. It is under the Brain Korea. And then there is System Biotechnology. It has one major. There is Animal Science and Technology. It has about three or four majors. And then if you go this way, and look you would find engineering it has an asterisk here it's not on the bed there is mechanical engineering with the different majors that are here there is computer science and engineering with the different major software development system software application software it is under the BK 21 you have intelligent energy and industry with the different majors here and then there is smart cities with the different majors here they are all under the bk21 under the area of available departments and program there is this message one asterisk marked departments are subject to take part in fourth stage bk21 program 
True asterisk mark departments have changed the name of track majors, which is why in this area where we had social welfare, it has one asterisk here, but two asterisks in all of the majors. They have two asterisks. It means the majors' names have changed. So if you go down again, you would see the information here. It's very important that you take note of this when you're applying for the BK21 scholarship. Make sure you look for majors that have a single asterisk now what is the application timeline for this scholarship if you go up here you would find admission schedule online admission has already begun it started on the 18th of october and it will end on the 14th of november you would have to apply online it's very important and then the next one submission of documents has to be done by the 15th of november office of international affairs that's for hard copies and then there will be phone interview for natural science engineering and arts division from this date and then from this date there would be humanities social science and medicine division and then for natural science engineering and arts there will be this one it's very important that you take note of this information about phone interview for those who are out of korea it's very important that you look at the admission schedule and then documents will be submitted to this address you can email the international office through this email and there is a phone number there that being said guys this is going to be the end of this video for those who've not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do subscribe so that you will always be informed about scholarship opportunities in south korea as well as in other parts of the world I'll see you in the next one bye bye